How's it going everyone? Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're in Irvine, California visiting a new society that just popped up. Richard, what is it? It's called Chick Society, you guys, and what they're known for is chicken. We're gonna be Ooh. trying chicken wings, chicken tenders, and even chicken sandwiches. Oh man. And it's all gonna be coming up in this video right now. So many stuff. We're gonna just jump right into it, right, Richard? Go right into it. We can't let this get to waste here. The crispy skin is still crispy. We wait any longer, it's gonna start to uh, get a little dull. So. Yeah, we don't want that at all. Crispy wings. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and just try the. the let's just try something in the in between, so we're not exploding our palate right. yet. Uh, this is the chicken tender. Um, we got the mild spice on this one. Look at that, guys. So this is going to be a good one to base off of everything because it gets pretty saucy as we go to the other wings and uh, items that we have here. And we're going to save the uh, chicken sandwich, Nashville sandwich for last Oh, year. wow. Just picking it up, I can already feel the crispiness wow. of this tender. Wow. I, wow. Wow. Look at this one. Nice, long. Yeah, I can feel the crispiness yeah, on that. Yeah, you can feel it. It hasn't gone soggy at all. Right, and I got the one with uh, a lot of seasoning so I can get a really good base of the taste off of this one. So, all right. Uh, first one, first bite, nothing, nothing. no dip. All right, we got cheers, sauces, guys. But just as is for right now. Cheers. So, cheers. Mmm. Mm. That crisp was definitely there when I took a bite of mine. How was yours? Oh yeah, the crunchiness was there. I'm not sure if you guys could hear it, but it was definitely there. Oh yeah. It was light, crispy, not too oily. I didn't get a bunch of like oil greases that's on no. my lip. It was no. like a, a light crisp to it, just like how I like it. It was really nice, not, not dense and heavy and oily. It's really good. Really good. Flavor, right. Flavor's there too. Flavor's there. Okay, we got a bunch of sauces here. No, we got a bunch of sauce. Honey mustard. Honey mustard. We got a cucumber aioli. This is a garlic aioli. Uh, we got some barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. And then the classic old classic ranch. Classic ranch. All right, Richard, which one are you gonna go for? You know what? Let's go for the cucumber, just because right. I've never seen this as a sauce that's common. Let's see how it is on chicken. I'm curious too. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. Cucumber aioli on some tenders. Mm. That was good. Yeah. Wasabi flavor. Had like a wasabi cucumber flavor to it. Not very strong, but it's just the right amount where you taste the wasabi, but you don't choke up on it. You know? Yeah. It was a perfect. It was kind of refreshing. Mm -hmm. It definitely was, gave it that refreshing accent to it and uh, the savoriness kind of blends everything together. Making the flavor actually pretty, pretty, comes out pretty yeah. good. I really enjoy that. Um, right. Let's try another sauce. Let's try another sauce and then we'll move on to the next item. Yeah. I'm a fan of honey mustard. Yeah. So I'm always taking honey mustard yeah. everywhere I go. Honey Let's mustard try. and chicken, it's always bomb. Can't ever go wrong with right. that. That guys. Boom. All right. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. That's a good honey mustard. Mm -hmm. mm. And I think they make all their sauces in house. Yeah. And definitely, you can taste it. You definitely taste like it. Mm -hmm. Well, we got a little bit left. Might as well just finish it. Um, barbecue or garlic? We got garlic here, so let's save oh, the let's garlic over there. Then. Let's go barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue. And there it goes. Mm. Nice little tang to that. Not too sweet. Nice, nice barbecue sauce. A little smoky. A little smoky. Mm -hmm. Definitely barbecue sauce. You can tell. Cool. All right. Solid wing or solid tenders, guys. That was solid. Solid. Solid crispiness. Good. The crispiness was there, mm -hmm. which was my most concern. But it was just boom. A bit into it. That crisp was just awesome. I enjoyed All right. it so much. <clears throat> Next one, I say let's try their wings. There's, there's been a lot of talk about their wings. Oh yeah, that's what we came here for, primarily. Oh man, and it looks so good. They, Let's use, try it. they do like the whole wing with the man, flap and the that. wing tip. Ooh. So you get the wing tip and the flap here. Um, I think there's some drumsticks. Yeah, they got they got yeah, they, they got, got both, both part of the wings. They yeah. got the drum mat, the wings, the whole thing so going the on. The whole here. thing. I'm gonna go for the wing. Okay. I'll take the drumstick. Oh yeah, look at that drumstick. It was a pretty hefty drumstick there. 
Look at that. Nicely battered as well too. You can see like Still all nice, that crisp. crust on there. It just, looks really good. And you that's, can tell it's not oily because, yeah. Yeah, that's a good piece. All right. Okay, let's go. Just uh, Cheers. mild wings here. Mmm. Wow. Mm. The theme so far here is the crunch has been very consistent, which is very important. You don't want no soggy wings. Nope. But the crunch is there. Yeah, that's, that's the crunch really here. Good. I think juicy. It's very juicy. 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 These are definitely not just wings where they battered and fried and seasoned outside. I feel like there was has to be some brining done to this because mm -hmm. it's juicy. And when you bite into the meat, there's so much flavor. Yeah. It doesn't just taste like just normal chicken, but there's actual savoriness that comes out of this juice once you bite into it, so. All right, I say we try with a sauce. Let's yeah. try the ranch. Okay. Get that to the ranch. My piece with the ranch. Wow. Do some ranch. Here we go. Hmm. The ranch is uh, pretty light. I didn't get that pungent of ranch no. buttermilk flavor in my mouth, but maybe that's a good thing. It makes you taste the chicken a little more. It reminds it me of a, a ranch that you put like on a salad. So yeah. I, I, nice that, that might be their intention. Make a little lighter ranch so they can put on their salads. They do have salads here. Wow. But you know us, we don't need the salads. Oh yeah. Mm. That was good. I definitely prefer the wings. Yeah over the tenders. Just a little bit more juice factor yeah. in the wings versus the tenders. Um, and then you get all that flavor from the bone. Yeah. So it's very flavorful, all right? And all the, luck, all the little cartilage pieces too that's in between the bones. Mm -hmm. Once you get a little crack of that, you're just like, wow, that's bomb. All right. Let's try some fries. Let's do a little, it. A little intermission. <clears throat> so this is their garlic parmesan fries, you guys. Garlic parmesan got the nice big steak fries and it's evenly coated on on the fries so everything has a nice layer of parmesan and garlic mm, on there looks good looks really good all right cheers cheers here we go mm. nice and crispy on the outside nice and, and crispy mashy potatoey on the inside just how a fry should be should not be hard outside and dry inside that's not the uh, that's not what we have here it's nice Kind of like a mashed potato, but with a very crispy skin on the outside. Good amount of Parmesan on the outside. Yeah. It's not too heavy where sometimes I would eat that whole wog of Parmesan and I'm just like, that's very salty. This is nice and evenly coated. So it makes it pretty pleasant to eat. I do wish they had a little more garlic in here. Yeah. So, so that flavor can come through a little more. You definitely taste more Parmesan than garlic in here. Mm -hmm. Like the, the garlic, you smell it, but you, when you taste it, you taste more Parmesan in it than the garlic. The overall solid fries. Solid fries. Order well done, guys. Always yeah. well done. Get the extra crispiness. Wow, that was good. All right. Let's take a break away from some of the crispiness and let's go for these teriyaki wings. Yeah. So this oh, is, these teriyaki that. wings doesn't look like they're battered. Um, kind of, are they fried? You think they broiled um, this, they grilled they, this? They might have. I'm guessing they probably fried it naked. Naked fried. And then, and then tossed the, it in the sauce. sauce and the sauce yeah, kind of like that. made it kind of. It's very saucy. Saucy. Take one. All right, so you tried, I tried the wing last time. So I'm gonna try drumstick this time, the drumette. Here we go. All right. Okay. okay let's try it out. Here we go. Teriyaki Cheers, wings. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. Sauce is good. A notch almost too salty to me, but it didn't, it's not too salty, but it's definitely savory. Just a little on the salty side. For me as well, it's not as sweet as your average teriyaki. It tastes like a right. soy sauce wing to me more than teriyaki. I don't know if you have any like green chicken, they have like a soy sauce flavor wing. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of detects me. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Wing is, oh. um, we would probably prefer it just to be a little less salty. And a little right? bit more sweet. Yeah, to balance it out a little more. And because there is no texture in this, this was my least favorite wing so far. I just like that crispy texture wing. Maybe they had this crispy with the sauce on, it might have changed the whole yeah. dynamic of this wing. But 
This is okay. This is okay. Out of all the stuff that we've had so far, yeah. this is okay. All right, let me grab like things so we can place our, our bones. Yeah. Yo. That was okay. All right, guys, moving on. Okay. Let me take a sip of water. Cut through all that fried goodness. Oh yeah. Gotta mellow down that uh, saucy teriyaki in my mouth. All right, we got, <clears throat> next up, we got the garlic wings. The garlic aioli wings, all right. So, you know what? This one is pretty saucy and good. This one, looks, this, one. this one looks pretty fancy. Got all that. Oh, look at that. Sauce sticks on it so well. You, as you can see, it's not dripping. It's lathered Ooh. on there. I'm shaking it, and it's still on there, so. All right, I'm gonna go for a wing too. Promising. Just love the wing part so much, you guys. Favorite part of the uh, wings. All right. All right. So we got the wings here. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. There's definitely a garlic punch right when you bite into that sauce. Mm -hmm. Even though it's kind of saucy on here, it did keep its texture of crunch on there even though there's a lot of sauce in there. It's not as crispy as you would like it, but for sauce to be on it and still getting that crunch after yeah. I bite it, it's still pretty amazing. But so, granted, we did let it sit for a couple minutes too. We did, so. we did. You know, we were doing all of our B-rolls, photo shoots. So I think like if you had this right out of the fryer, or right fresh, yeah, it would be even more crispy. Yeah. But still very solid. Mm -hmm. The crisp is still there, even though we let it set, set out and the sauce was sitting on it. I like the, how the garlic comes through in that aioli. Yeah. In that sauce. It's really good. You get that garlic pungent right when you bite into it. And it sits on your mouth and as you chew it, you definitely get that yep. smell of it starting to kind of aroma out everywhere. And the wings, juicy. Juicy. Can't go wrong with the wings. Yeah. Really, really good. Definitely did, they, they got the, the frying technique down yep. because if you've ever tried to fry. Uh, fry anything, I do. I fry a lot of things and most of the time it comes out dry inside because you're trying to get that crispy to be so crispy or it just gets overcooked and then you're not going to have good wings. So definitely a technique to do it and they got that technique down. All right, fry with the wasabi dip. All right, Richard, how's it going? I think we're on to our, the main star of the show, I think. Right, so, the Nashville Sando. There's a go. lot of places that mix Nashville sandwiches, Nashville hot sandwiches, so we're curious to try oh, yeah. and see which one is going to be the top of the list. Exactly. It's, you know, it's like, it's been making a wave. You used to not see this type of sandwich anywhere. And I no. think within the, like the last three to four years, Nashville places started popping up everywhere. And you'll get your good ones. And then when you find a really good one, you're going to be going there all the time. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a lot of sandwiches out there. We're out there mm -hmm. to find the best. So we're on the hunt. If you know a place in Orange County or even LA, let us know. Look at that drip. Oh, oh, all of that sauce. Look at that sauce dripping out. Okay, so we don't got a knife with us. Me and Damon are just gonna brute this, split this in half. Do it. And uh, let's share this. Oh. That's, that's, what, that's why he works out. That's a pretty good, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good <laughs> smash right there. All right, All let's right. explain what we see in okay. there before we take a bite. So I see coleslaw, pickles, the fried chicken, Nashville seasoning on it. And then we opted for, or they give you an option to get a chicken breast or chicken thigh. We opted for the, the chicken, chicken thigh, thigh. Just, just because dark meat is a little juicier and we're always about the juice. Yeah, and we wanted it to have full spectrum on flavor and you know you get that from the fat, from the, the thigh. And the coleslaw looks like a traditional coleslaw, so. Yeah, I mean this is probably a brioche bun. Yeah. Brioche bun. It feels like a brioche. Yeah, Okay. nice and fluffy. Okay, let's try it out. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Okay. Again, the texture held its integrity. Mm -hmm. We left it sitting there as you guys saw us trying all these wings for who knows how long. But when I bit into the, the chicken, that crisp was still there. It was yeah. crunchy. The, the crunchiness is still there. 
juicy, juicy too. Very juicy. Upon first bite, the first flavor that I picked up was the sweetness of the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. So this is solid coleslaw, not too heavy. Yeah. I would say, I would describe it as a little on the medium side in terms of like heavy or lightness. Yeah. It's um, a right, like what David is trying to explain is like the flavor isn't too tardy where when you, yeah. when you eat a coleslaw, it's like it punches you right there. And then the heavier side of it is like sometimes they use so much mayo, it feels really rich. Yeah, but this yeah, was like right in the middle of it. It's not too rich, not too tardy. Not nice, too like, yeah. Like nice balanced sweetness. It's, it's right there. Yeah. But for me personally, like I like my coleslaw not on the sweet side. So this is a good coleslaw, but I would have liked it a little less sweet. Okay, take another bite. Oh, you already took another bite. I'm like three He's bites quick. in there. <laughs> trying to get the, trying to get that flavor so I can give you guys a really good description. But I agree with what he said. The coleslaw, it's a little bit more on the light side, I would say. I would like it to be a little bit more tarty, like an apple cider kind of like taste to it. But that's just me. You might really like to enjoy this. This is solid coleslaw. Don't get me wrong. Like no. it's really good with the chicken sandwich. Everything blends together. Actually, I got a bite of that pickle with the coleslaw, and it gave it that tartness. So, and the pickle definitely helps. It helped it. It, helped. it enhanced that it. little. It made it citrusy, right. tartness to it, acidity. And you're just like, whoa, what is that? And then you realize mm -hmm. it's a pickle, and you're like, that actually went really good with the with the with the chicken sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for the flavor of the sandwich, you can't really taste it because there's. Uh, all that sauce and coleslaw going on, but it's definitely a savory, juicy chicken. You can tell that for sure. Uh, everything kind of just marries together and becomes its own flavor. Yeah, the, the Nashville hot flavor, it's on the more milder side. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't come through as much as other Nashville hot sandwiches that I've tried before. Yeah, when I have mild and it's, and it's labeled Nashville, I'm expecting a little bit of kick and sometimes a little bit of sweat. Yeah. So so maybe if we got like a higher Hot, like spicy, level, the flavor would be a lot stronger. Yeah. You you can definitely tell it'd be a more of a Nashville kick to it. Yeah. But it's a solid sandwich. It's but a yeah. good chicken sandwich. For someone that doesn't eat spice, you guys can get mild and probably enjoy this sandwich very very much. Mm -hmm. uh, solid. It's, it's really good. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take one more bite. Yep. Let's go. I've been eating all the edges to get all the crispy parts. Mm. Mm. Uh, set that down. The only thing I notice is it's not as seasoned or brined through as the wings. Mm. The I taste more of the chicken, but when I ate the wings, I tasted more of something a little extra. So it kind of tells me that the wings are brined and the sandwich is probably just fried. Yeah. <clears throat> the season. So I think out of all the options we got today, the wings. Solid place for fried chicken, mm -hmm. if you like fried chicken. But if I were to come here again, when I come back, I will order the wings first. The wings are- the crispy wings. Yeah, they're 10 out of 10, crispy, savory. Like I said, when you bite into the meat, it's juicy, and there's flavor in and outside from the juices in the meats when you mm -hmm. bite into it. So, I don't know, pretty solid, very flavorful. Yeah. And again, that crisp stayed pretty crispy, even though we left it out it for did. a while. Yeah, so the crispiness is totally there, juiciness is totally there. And again, it's Chick Society in Irvine, guys. And that pretty much concludes our episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of The, the Foodie, Foodie TV. TV. Peace, Peace out, guys.